Hi, I'm Brandon Knight. Today, I want to show you how to write a scene using Studio Binder's screenwriting feature and speed up your writing process using hotkeys. To get started, go to your Documents page and create a new screenplay. Click New Document, select Screenplay, and click Next. Enter a title and then press Create Document. Your new screenplay has been generated. Now, it's time to get writing. But first off, let's get a little lay of the land. In your left sidebar, you will see your document versions. Since this is a brand new screenplay, we just have one version. You can also rename your script, duplicate versions, and even save them as a template. If you click here, you can open up a comments sidebar where collaborators can comment on your script. Now that you know where everything is, let's get started. The first thing you always want to start with is a scene heading. All scene headings need to start with either INT or EXT, indicating whether it's an interior or exterior scene. Then you type in the location, aka the set, and then the time of day. All of this indicates not just to the reader where we are, but will also inform the production with critical information to bundle scenes together and schedule the shoot more efficiently. Scene headings are very important because these are how Studio Binder syncs information across the project, like on your shooting schedule, shot lists, and breakdowns. A couple tips. You can format text as a scene heading by clicking here in the toolbar, or press Option S, or press Enter again on a blank line and a dropdown will appear letting you choose which format you would like. Now that we have our scene heading, press Enter and it will automatically take you to the action line, which can be confirmed when the icon is highlighted in the toolbar. The action line describes to the reader what is happening on screen. Ideally, you want your action lines to be short and to the point, only stating critical actions and very little fluff. You can also select any text to make it bold, italicized, or underlined to add extra emphasis. Another important tip. When you first introduce a character, write their name in all caps and follow it with a short fragmented description, sort of like this. You only do this the first time a character is introduced in a script. Next, we want to add some dialogue. To do that, we first have to specify the character who is speaking. You can either click up here or just press tab on your keyboard. Then type in the character name. Then hit enter to start writing the dialogue. Now in this case, I want George to be out of breath as he speaks, so I'm going to add a parenthetical, or a note to the actor or director on how this line should be delivered. To do this, if you're in the dialogue format like I am, just press the parenthetical button here, or press tab again to change the format. I'll type in out of breath. Now you don't want to do this too much, only when it's really necessary. Press Enter to complete this and move back to the dialog formatting and add your dialog. When you're done, you can hit Enter to revert back to the action line and describe more actions or add more dialog. Next, transitions. These are generally used for editing instructions and are extremely valuable when visualizing a scene. For example, you can add Dissolve To if you want to dissolve a scene into another. Then we have general. This can be used in a variety of ways. One way to use general is as a subheader, which is when a full scene heading isn't required. For example, if your character moves from one area to another in the same scene, you can add a subheader to specify this, or you can use these for intercuts. Let's say a character is having a phone conversation and you plan on doing a series of quick cuts. Just type intercut phone conversation. Be sure to add a new scene heading every time the location changes. Just remember to format it correctly. Keep using your hotkeys or pressing tab, and you'll start noticing some autocompletes will continue to expand over time, recalling previously used scene headings as well as character names. That way, you don't have to type them out every time. 
When your script is finished, you can press this button up top to sync it to your project. Now you can begin the process of prepping your scene breakdowns, shot list, schedules, and call sheets. So the bottom line, using Studio Binder's screenwriting feature, along with keyboard shortcuts and properly formatted scene headings and characters will get you from script to screen in no time. Thanks for watching. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder, reminding you to work smarter, not harder, and we'll see you in the next video.